yo yo people welcome back to runs tech hub and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to download and set up your bootable drive for open media vault so just a quick refresher i'm going to be using this device here it's called a buken or bokoin i don't know how you pronounce that word i'm going to be using this as my nas so my network attached storage it has eight gigabytes of ram and 256 gigabytes of ssd storage so not the most powerful thing in the world because it has um an intel n5105 processor four cores four threads i don't think we need much more than that to be honest and i think this is going to be more powerful than a raspberry pi uh four or five because of the hardware that it has so again in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to download open media vault well what open media vault is first and foremost how to download it and how to set up your bootable drive which you're going to need to install it this is the hardware i'm going to be using open media vault is the operating system that i'm going to be using for my network attached storage so just google the term or the words open media and vault so open media vault you're going to be greeted with this website here it tells you what it is and it goes through all the stuff that you can do it's based on debian linux the most recent version as of uh what where are we now march april may may something is going to be open media vault 7.1 so i'm going to go to where it says download here it's going to take me to this website or to this section of the website and from here i'm simply going to download the iso i'm going to go with stable so let me zoom in as much as i can we have two versions here we have stable and we have old stable i have never used either of these but my logic is that old stable is going to be the old versions uh, with all the legacy software built in whereas uh, stable is going to be relatively new stuff that works relatively um well so I'm going to go for this one instead. So I'm going to go for stable. It's going to start in five seconds. This is the website that they use a source forge. It's going to pop up here because I'm using Google Chrome. Yep, there we go. So once that's downloaded, I'm going to also take you over um, and have a look at Ventor. This is an amazing piece of software. What this software does, it allows you to have one bootable drive with multiple ISOs, multiple op operating systems on there. For example, this here is my Ventoy uh, memory stick. So this one should be this one here. I've got quite a few operating systems on here. So all you have to do, you download your ISO. So your image that you're gonna use for your operating system, you download it and you stick it on this memory stick. I'm gonna show you how to install Ventoy on this one memory stick, I have a total of 14 different operating systems. So this is stuff I use regularly, stuff I want to use. So if I, if someone calls me to fix a PC, I don't need to worry about what version of Windows 10 or 11 they have, or Windows 7 or 8, or what version of Mint they have. Because on here, I have the latest versions of everything. So I bring this one memory stick with me everywhere, and I can install as many operating systems as I have on the memory stick. So for example, if someone calls me and says, uh, my laptop is really old it's moving slow i would always recommend if it's a hard drive grab an ssd and straight away after you have an ssd install something like mint mint is going to be much much lighter on resources than let's say windows 10 or windows 11 so i digress i'm going to show you how to install ventoy ventoy is already on my memory stick but the process is going to be exactly the same if you're installing it from scratch so how does this work google the word ventoy v-e-n-t-o-y you're going to come up with this website here go to ventoy you could just go straight to downloads to be fair it's not the best website in the world if anyone over a ventoy wants me to design a website for them completely for free reach out please because this is not the best website in the world but the tool is absolutely amazing i'm going to go to downloads and from here i like to grab the zip file so i'm going to grab the zip file click on the zip file there and it's going to come up with again this is sourceforge again the most downloaded version of this file is again the zip file because it's just the one that's probably most compatible for most people so i'm going to click on that one there and it should pop up in my download section here as well it should start downloading within five seconds there we go so I have Open Media Vault downloading and I have Ventoy downloading. Open Media Vault is going to take a minute or so. So I'm going to show you how to get Ventoy installed. I'm going to go to my downloads folder. So on my downloads folder is going to be up here. This is Ventoy. It's in a zipped folder. So for most people, you just need to right click and then you go to extract all. This is the Windows 11 context menu. If you go to show more options, if I go to show more options, this is what it will look like most likely on Windows 10. You still have the extract all feature does exactly the same thing but it looks slightly different i'm going to click on extract all this window here is going to come up it's going to ask me the destination i want to extract it to i'll leave it in downloads for now i'm just going to click on extract shouldn't take too long there we go that's finished now i'm going to go into my ventoy folder go into that folder as well and in here i have ventoy to disk that's most likely the one that we're going to need so i'm going to double click on this to open it 
and see what comes up. Also, my open media vault download is finished. So I'm going to open Ventoy. Screen's gone black. It's asking me, are you sure you want to allow this software to make changes to your device? I'm going to click on yes. It says Ventoy in device. So on my memory stick, I already have Ventoy and this is the version of Ventoy I have. If you don't have Ventoy on there, that's perfect, perfectly fine. Sorry. Yours won't say anything. You just click on install because I already have Ventoy. I'm going to click on update instead. So I'm going to go from version 1.0.91 to I'm going to update it to 1.0.97. So click on update for me. Uh, continue. Yes. Okay. It's doing its thing. Shouldn't take too long. It's a very lightweight program. Amazing piece of software. I have never seen anything else that does this. So I have to give the guys over at Ventoy their props. So that's Ventoy there. Finish upgrading. Click on OK. Now these two numbers match up, which tells me that the, the Ventoy on my memory stick, on my device, is also the newest version of Ventoy. So I can close this down. I'm going to go back to my memory stick. So my, back to my Ventoy. And click on this PC. I'm going to go to Ventoy, this one here. I already have Open Media Vault on this thing, but I'm going to show you how to copy to your memory stick anyway. Now, I believe any size memory stick will work for this. So I'm going to go back to downloads. Actually, let me open two windows at the same time. Drag that one over there. Minimize it a bit. Open another window. Go to downloads. And here I have my open media vault. I am simply going to drag this from this location in my downloads folder to the one on my Ventoy disk. Uh, you can copy and paste as well. So you can go right click and you can go to copy. But I just drag stuff over this probably just a bit easier for me drag it then once you're over there you let go and that's how you set up your bootable drive you don't need to do anything else for this memory stick the only thing i would suggest or recommend you do go and find out the boot key for your device weirdly enough for the mini pc i'm using the boot keys f7 i've never seen f7 as a boot key the boot keys are normally f1 f2 f10 f12 delete but f7 is mine it doesn't really matter what yours is i'll put i'll try to put in the description um, a website that has a list of boot keys for different manufacturers. So you can do this for any manufacturer you want. It doesn't have to be a bootkin or whatever my name is. It can be any manufacturer you want. So that's how we download and set up our bootable drive. The next video should be me on my camera showing you how to actually do this physically in person.